I'm going to finish back in our own hometown, Los Angeles, <laughs> even the, <laughs> the LA River. And I put in the, uh, we put the LA River in the show. Thank you, Mia Lara and the city of LA and everybody involved with that project. And we put it in because even though, well, long term LA or the West Coast has its own sea level rise issues, as far as we can all see now, we're looking at drought. So it, on the face of it, it's a different problem. But in fact, what I felt was that the LA River and everything that's going on with the revitalization project there it reflects the same set of values and rethinking of how to engage with our water's edge as you're finding in Holland, as you're finding in a lot of places that are able to think sort of, it's becoming a global way of thinking. And I will conclude by showing you these images. There's the before, there's the after, there's the before, and there's the after. Yeah, wouldn't it be great? And, but also, it's this idea that, yes, the LA River can cause this whole channelizing, much as we now might look at it with horror, there was a reason for it. There were these very, very strong flash floods. But what, what the designers are saying is, we can provide protection against those very powerful flash floods, and we can make it a livable river. Thank <laughs> you.